Today I will show you how to install ESXi on VMware Workstation and access it using the HTML web interface. If you haven't already downloaded and installed VMware Workstation Pro, please watch the video linked above. Let's begin by opening VMware Workstation Pro. Click on Create a new virtual machine. On the welcome page, select the recommended option and click Next. Here, you can select the installation media. For now, I will leave this and select. I will install the operating system later. Now, select the guest operating system and version. In this lab, I will install ESXi 8.0, so I will choose VMware ESXi and the version ESXi 8 and later. Then, click Next to continue. Insert an inventory name for the VM and specify the VM installation location. I will not change the VM installation path and keep it as is. In this page, you can change the maximum disk size. For ESXi 8.0, the minimum recommended disk size is 142GB. I will not change the disk size in this lab and click Next. This is the summary page. If you want, you can change the hardware configuration of the ESXi host. I will increase the memory size from 4GB to 8GB and click Finish. Now, you can see the new ESXi VM deployed and listed in the inventory. Right-click on the ESXi VM and click Edit Settings. In this interface, you can change hardware settings. I will mount the downloaded ESXi ISO file to the CD-ROM and click Power On. If you face any issues while downloading ESXi, please watch the video linked above. Wait a moment for the ESXi operating system to boot. Now you are on the welcome page. Press Enter to continue. Press F11 to accept End User License Agreement. Select the partition to install ESXiOS and press Enter. Select the keyboard layout. I will keep this as default and press Enter. Now, enter the ESXi root password and confirm. Then click Enter to continue. Press F11 to confirm the installation. After the installation is complete, press Enter to reboot. Now you can set the network settings on the ESXi host. Press F2 and enter the root password to change the configuration. Navigate to Configure Management Network Settings. I will enter 192.168.1.101 as the management IP address with a 24 subnet mask. Click Enter and I will disable IPv6 settings. Click Escape to exit. After changing the network settings, the ESXi host will reboot.
Now the ESXi installation and configuration are complete. Next, we will try to access the ESXi HTML interface from your local computer. Before this, we need to create the 192.168.1 network and connectivity. Go to Edit tab and click Virtual Network Editor. Click Change Settings. Click Add Network to create a new network. Select a network to add. In this lab, I am selecting VMNet 10 and click OK. Now, you need to add the network IP and subnet mask. Check the box if you are using DHCP. But in this lab, I am using a static IP, so I will not tick the DHCP checkbox. In this lab, I plan to use 192.168.1.0 as my network IP. I will insert it. Click Apply and then OK. Now you can log in to the newly deployed ESXi HTML interface from your local computer. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. See you in the next video.